Good morning church family, Pastor Dan here and to visitors welcome to our devotional channel here at Rockhampton Baptist. Now recently I watched a, a movie on, on Netflix uh, which is called Sherpa and it tells the story of the, uh, the Sherpas that help travellers uh, as they try and journey and get to the top of the world's tallest mountain, Mount Everest. And it goes, it's a quite a documentary type series and it goes through the, the various dangers that they go through, the amount of times they have to go up and forth uh, just to help um, and allow these, um, these travellers to, to journey to the top. And one of the things you see throughout it is just the, uh, just the way in which the climate changes. Almost that, that different climates in, in sun and, and the things that affect it. And so we were, as we were watching the video, focusing on that, and my wife and I were having a conversation afterwards about climate change and global warming and, and all those sorts of things. And um, there's so many different discussions that kind of come up from that. And, but one thing I'm always reminded when I have a discussion about this is, like a, is a passage that comes from Colossians and this idea that God is sovereign over all creation. So let me draw you to that. Uh, today. It says, He existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. For through him God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth. He made things we can see and he made things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers and authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. He existed before anything else and he holds all creation together. It's a constant verse I need to remind myself of, that, that God is sovereign, that he in fact holds creation together. Because when you watch a movie uh, like Sherpa, you look at the majestic uh, Everest mountain, hear some, some Buddhist and, and religious uh, beliefs and how they interact uh, with the mountain. You know, it's so easy just to get into this, this viewpoint and this worldview that, that we're changing the climate and that our effect and what we do on the climate is, is drastically changing it and the world's uh, you know, going to end because you know, climate change is changing rapidly and, and the effects and you kind of go down this whirlwind of thought. But then you come back to a passage like this and you go, God is the one that is sovereign. God is the one that holds creation together. And you're reminded that, you know, most of the data we look at in climate change is just only from the last maybe 100, just over 100 years. We don't understand the full scope of what God is doing, the different seasons and cycles that God is bringing. All we know is the truth from his word, and we need to keep coming back to that. You know, keep coming back to Colossians where it says that he existed before anything was created. He is supreme over all creation. For through him God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth. He made the things we can see and the things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers, and authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. He existed before anything else and he holds all creation together. So in a sense, no matter what we do, our triune God, God three in one, holds all things together. He is sovereign over all. Let me pray. Lord, I thank you for the reminder that you are, you are sovereign. Lord, you hold all things together. Lord, I ask that you help us you know, as the church to be continually reminded of this. Lord, I can feel a sense that I get, get busy and you get caught up into things and you forget that you are the one who holds all things together. You hold creation, you hold the earth, the rulers, the authorities. It is you that holds all things together. And Lord, remind us of that today. In our dealings, in our interactions, in, uh, in the way that we speak, in the way that we hear, Lord, remind us of that, that you are sovereign. You are supreme. You are the one that holds all things together. Amen. Keep walking with God. Let him talk back as you read the Bible. And when he does speak, trust and obey. Keep looking for opportunities to bless others. We'll see you soon.